Time now for your forewarn weather with Garrett James. All right, Garrett James is in St. George for us for a look at the forecast. How you doing, Garrett? Oh, not too bad, Brian. And Brian, don't mention Monday yet. We just got to Friday. We got to enjoy the weekend, and we're going to be looking at some nice weather to be able to enjoy that as well. Take a look at this radar. It was showing a few little blips of blue around the Moab region, but we're looking dry now, and we're going to stay dry likely through the weekend. Take a look at this. Upper level future cast shows us why we have high pressure building, and it's going to stay over the area for the weekend. But by the time we do get to the beginning of next week, I won't say the word that starts with M quite yet, but we can see another low pressure system heads our way by then. And then by the middle of next week, we'll be tracking yet another system sinking down from the north. That will keep temperatures on the cooler side, but high pressure, it is behind it, but all in all, we'll still see this low pressure system hanging around and that maybe, just maybe could lead to a bit more of an active weather pattern next week. Take a look at this long range future cast. It shows that we're gonna be staying dry primarily for the remainder of the weekend. Take a look at this by Saturday. We'll stay dry. Maybe a couple clouds here and there and southwesterly winds by Sunday will keep us a little bit dry, but we'll see moisture returning to the area by Monday. Maybe an ever so slight chance for the Wasatch Front and then we can see by Tuesday better precip chances for the northern portion of the state and that's by noon right there and that by four o'clock and so it does look like a on again off again situation on Tuesday, then Wednesday, there's that next system that sinks in from the north. That's going to provide maybe some better precip chances across the entire Beehive State, but that system kind of stalls to the south and could maybe provide some more precip chances on Thursday, and if it does slow down enough, maybe into Friday and Saturday as well. However, a lot's gonna change between now and then as it is a week away but we'll be sure to keep you updated in your forewarned forecast. Take a look at temperatures right now. It's 21 in Evanston, 36 Salt Lake City, 51 though here in St. George, 45 Hanksville, 34 in Milford, 31 in Ely, 36 in Elko, and lows tonight show 17 for Elko, 15 for Ely, and a lot of teens and 20s out there for lows tonight, with the exception of Evanston at 2 degrees and St. George at 34 degrees. Then highs tomorrow show not too bad of a day, 55 for Hanksville, 57 Moab, 49 Blanding, 65 for St. George, and 50 51 for Salt Lake City. For the next seven days for the Wasatch Front, we can see temperatures back in the upper 50s on Sunday, but down into the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday with scattered rain chance, a slight chance on Thursday, and that could maybe try and continue Friday. We'll have to stay tuned though. And the same goes for St. George. It, depending on where that low pressure system sets up, we could maybe see maybe some more rain chances down this way, but all in all, temperatures not too bad, staying in the 60s. Nice temperatures in St. George, Garrett. Thank you.